comments and hang the seat. You know what the kind of around, so Andrew Tate. Um, I wasn't really familiar with him as much. I've heard about him, but I got really familiar with him within the last couple of days when he uh, got shut down for lack of better words. So I'm going to tell y'all um, all about him as far as what I know. Uh, and then we're going to get into basically, is it fair that he has been censored and shut down? And so Donovan, what say you before we get started? All right, you guys, welcome to the, to the Demetri K podcast. We are happy that you guys are tuning in and listening. Please do us a favor. If you are listening to this, even on the YouTube, whatever, share it on your platform and get the message out. And please like, share, and subscribe. Maybe become a member. We'd love to have you here. We're also on Venmo. You, we got a Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, all the other good things like that. And you can also pick us up on uh, iPod. I, you know, all the. Um, I'm losing my thought here, but all the uh, podcast uh, streaming services. So, so do us a favor and do that. But uh, this is going to be interesting because I had heard about this young. Uh, well, I don't know if he's young, but this gentleman and. You know, this is an issue. Some people are saying it's a freedom of speech issue, but we're going to get into that because it's, there's a big, significant difference when you're dealing with the freedom of speech. All right, and so for time's sake, we'll go ahead and get into it. So Andrew Tate is 35 years old. He is a success success coach. He had, I don't know if he still does, it sounds like recently it was shut down or he shut it down. Hustlers University, where there's a monthly fee, I believe, of like $40, where he talks about things like drop shipping and crypto. He uh, also was a former kickboxer, was also on the show Big Brother, but he had got kicked off of that for, uh, it says, attacking women. Women, uh, a woman with a belt, and we'll get a little bit more into that. And so, uh, what else is going on with him? So, he's a millionaire from what I understand. And he was recently banned or taken off of Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and now as of today, YouTube. Now, I believe it was in like 2017, he was kicked off of Twitter for, you know, hate speech and things like that. Now, uh, they kicked him off for violating the hate speech uh, policy and also for being misogynistic, which means that he was uh, being hateful toward women. Now, I would love to show you some of his clips, but I don't want to jeopardize getting taken down. So there's a lot of stuff, from what I understand, still on YouTube. You can go Google it or not Google it, go look at it. So you can get an idea. I will say that I did spend some time listening to uh, some of his talking points. And I feel like I probably need to go like live in a library for like a week or so to kind of get some of my brain cells back. But needless to say, again, so he was shut down on all of those platforms basically for violating um, the policies. Now, he has been accused of saying some pretty crazy things. And I'm going to put this up so y'all can get an idea of who... I am speaking of, so that is uh, Mr. Andrew Tate. Now, uh, they say that he is African-American. That's what Google said anyway, so I have to take uh, their word from it. For it, he was born in Illinois, uh, Chicago, Illinois, but it sounds like he moved out to the U.K. or um, after that, and so I guess that's kind of why he has a little bit of a, um, an accent, if you will. But so these are some of the things that he has been up to within the last couple of years. Some of the things that he said was, as you can see here, um, he is also said to have posted a now deleted comment. If I wanted to see black people running, I just I threatened them with jobs. So that's kind of why I was kind of questioning, well, is he black? But, you know, I guess black people say stuff like that, too. He also said in one video, uh, Tate advised men accused of cheating by their girlfriends to bang out the machete, boom in her face and grip her by the neck and shut up B, okay? So I guess that's kind of one of the things that got the ball rolling. He also, it also says uh, together uh, with his brother Tristan, he allegedly set up a webcam business in Romania in which young models told sob stories to unsuspecting male viewers despite telling the Sunday Mirror that uh, um, the site was a total scam. Tate claims to have made millions from it, all right? And then <clears throat> here it says... Uh, the 35-year-old was booted off the show. This is, of course, uh, Big Brother. 
uh, after a video emerged of Tate beating his ex-girlfriend with a belt, which he claimed is the reason why he was removed from the Channel 5 reality show the day before. The clip shows the star continually hitting the woman with his belt. He also slaps her across the face, but the star insisted it was playful fun, quote-unquote, and said at the time, a longer version of the video shows us laughing and I'm hitting myself saying, does it hurt? I'm still friends with her and she's in the UK with me now. I would never hit a woman. So, you know, he's basically saying that's not true. So after all of this uh, backlash that he suffered came to fruition, he put out a statement that pretty much said this, and it's not up there, but I'll read it to you. It says, uh, where'd it go? It's very unfortunate that old videos of me where I was playing a comedic character have been taken out of context and amplified to the point where people believe absolutely false narratives about me. In the last two weeks, I dedicated over $1 million to charity supporting women. I posted this on Instagram, but Instagram ignored it. Internet sensationalism has purported the idea that I am anti-woman or women when nothing could be farther from the truth. This is simply hate mobs who are uninterested in the facts of the matter trying to personally attack me. They twist facts and produce fancy documents full of hate truths and lies to attack people they don't like. I will always have millions of fans around the world and my platform will be a beacon of light teaching people of all genders and races how to respect one another for years to come. Now these fans can learn uh, important lessons of love, or they cannot learn uh, important lessons of love. Why? With my Instagram page, I began to prove all of the negative narratives false and show the world tolerance. My fans would follow in my footsteps of tolerance and love, and the world would become a better place. I was receiving over 10,000 death threats a day on the platform. Instagram ignored it. Somehow on um, I Am The Villain, when all of my posts were Bible verses and charitable donations, banning me only inspires more internet hate mobs and more division. This will become a weapon of attack for different uh, points of view for the foreseeable future. future. So he's basically saying... It's a, a hatch, hatchet job, if you will. It's not all true. It's been uh, blown out of proportion. Uh, at the end, I do agree with what he said. That is only going to spur or inspire more people to come out and kind of do the same. Um, again, I have not um, been familiar with Andrew Tate really up until I really did some research into him, for, you know, for the most part. Um, so I have a lot to say about this. But Donovan, what say you from what um, I just said? Uh, you said a lot. Like I said, uh, it, there's always that old saying of, um, did you see the whole tape? You know, you know, um, young people, you really got to be careful. Even though you might be doing a skit, people can take that skit and edit parts of it. And the next thing you know, you're running for uh, president, city council, whatever you're doing, or you're applying for a job. And that's what the employer sees or the potential employer sees next to know you're getting terminated, even though it was taken out of context. So you guys are smart enough to know how the Internet works and how video works. But, you know, when we're talking about the Internet and these rules, uh, Brother Phil said, Okay, they banned him for uh, violent uh, images, let's just say, like the video, right? But yet Twitter doesn't have a problem with women basically putting porn up on Twitter. I, I, you know, I, I just say that is hypocritical at best. So porn is okay to put up there, but... Uh, movies like gangster movies, the old movies of violence, that's not okay to put up there. So I think it's hypocritical at best. But again, it is their platform. And I'm very sure if you, if you read some of the small, fine print, they can terminate your account at any given time. That, which is why Brother Phil and a lot of people have been saying it's so important that we have our own platforms where we can uh, subjugate you know, the rules to, way, the, to the way we like them. But at any time, it can be terminated. But... I have a question with uh, Mr. T
Hey, if you make millions of dollars, and I'm sure he does. So hello, everybody. It is me, Demetra K, and I am sitting here with Donovan, the recovering Democrat Sadiq, and it's the Demetra K podcast. And of course, we will put this on YouTube. It'll be on YouTube, and it is not live. It is pre-recorded. But-